Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. Now, I will talk about this amazing fire tornado, which appeared earlier this week out in Chillicothe, Missouri, because it is definitely a warning from Almighty God, specifically to the United States. But first, I want to respond to some very interesting comments that I received on my last video about that Fiat car commercial where Godzilla gobbles up quite a few cars. And those cars symbolize the United States, particularly the Horror of Babylon, the Scarlet Beast, particularly Russia, and the Catholic Church. And here's what Dennis Fleury wrote. By scanning the many comments of the subscribers, I found that the number 555 is entirely represented. As you know, Mark Trusso, who alerted me to this video, and I, we both recognized the five passengers. But now Dennis has found two other manifestations of the number five. The first five is in the designation of this particular model, which is a Fiat 500. Okay, very good, Dennis. The second five is in the fact that it has five doors because it is a hatchback. So, once again, we see a very similar comparison to the man in yellow in that size video, Gangnam Style. Because remember, the man in yellow represents the Catholic Church, and he drives off in a car that has three fives in its license plate. And... Now let's go on and see what Scarlatti 2007 writes. Doesn't look blue to me at all. Now he's talking about the color of the car which represents the Whore of Babylon. More a teal green or turquoise. In fact, a rather pretty color for a car. And I think that's pertinent for the Whore of Babylon because she is dressed in linen of purple, scarlet, and gold. So more than one color represents the harlot. And Perna Pus Mom writes, In the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. And these are the words of Mary and Fatima. I don't think we really can know how much the Catholic Church has been infiltrated, but it is temporary. I agree. Something will happen to purify it, just as Jesus overturned the money changers' tables in the temple. Don't worry, everything will work out better than you think especially if we do penance as Mary asked us to do. And I think that that is why Godzilla spits out the yellow car in the end. The Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph. And Living Proof writes, What caught my eye was at the ending, it says Godzilla in theaters May 18th, and of course you break that down, as several other people have noted, and do 6 plus 6 plus 6. And now she will 418 writes, I am no longer Catholic, but isn't it obvious that when you say amen, it's like saying fiat. Mary said fiat in the prayer in the Bible, right? And you are right, she will 418. And the fiat is how Mary's acceptance of the words of Gabriel is very often expressed. She said, I will, I will do as you have said. And that is called her fiat. And I think that's very significant for the automobile fiat in this commercial. And Dio Gosmino writes, and this is very interesting, I think both the red and blue car, communism and capitalist world, are already in the beast belly. Well, yes, they are already evil, but they haven't yet been gobbled up. They are not under the control of the beast. Also, I am not sure, but it seems that the red car plays right into Godzilla's hands. He goes toward Godzilla. Well, that is fascinating because in the book of Revelation, it says the scarlet beast, the eighth beast, goes to destruction. So that is in perfect conformance with Bible prophecy. The blue car is just there, empty, no driver, with an open door waiting to be eaten. And I think that is a good description of our decadent uh, West waiting to be plucked like ripe fruit. And Dialogos Menio continues, 
The yellow car is clearly fleeing from Godzilla. Seems to be the only one that is trying to flee at all. And again, that coincides with Bible prophecy because it is the remnant church that will flee into the desert. And now finally, I want to talk about what Raymond Yerk says. Mr. Third Eagle, probably this is a calling to mankind that they have to return to God. Absolutely, Raymond. As I have often said, God reveals the future not to scare us, but to prepare us. And now I do have, uh, I have a couple more comments here. Uh, this is from Fuzzy Dog PA. There are also three women and two men in the car. I believe the greater female ratio is symbolic of Mary's, the woman's, victory over the beast slash dragon who waged war with her and her offspring, those in the car, and the car represents her true faithful. Very good, Fuzzy Dog, I agree with you. And now finally, let's read what Dusty Grady says. I don't follow your meaning. I thought the Antichrist had already taken over the Catholic Church. You are correct. The last week of April, the Antichrist and the false prophet did take over the Catholic Church. Have you already forgotten about the evil one world religion symbol displayed at the Pope's canonization? No, it is very much in my mind, Dusty Grady, believe me. So indeed, the Antichrist does devour the papacy and the Catholic Church. Yes, it does. That yellow car and its passengers definitely should have been toast along with the rest of them. Yes, but if you notice that after Godzilla coughs three times, check and see, he opens his mouth three times, and then he spits out the yellow car. And Jesus said, he prophesied, that his temple would be destroyed for three days, but then he would raise it up again. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. And that is also a prophecy of the end times, because his temple is his body, the church. So this fiat commercial is once again in accordance with Bible prophecy. And he continues, in addition, the sequence of events in this commercial is wrong. Well, this is interesting, Dusty Grady. The blue car should have been eaten first. Well, you're right about the sequence. The chronology is just the reverse. Because first, Godzilla should have eaten the yellow car. That's the Catholic Church. Then the blue or turquoise or teal car. That represents the whore of Babylon. And finally, it is the Scarlet Beast. That is the one world communist tyranny, which will be destroyed. But often... Chronology in the Bible can be reversed, for example, in the book of Revelation. And now let's take a closer look at this very fascinating fire tornado, which is also a warning from Almighty God to the United States of America. According to the news reports, a woman happened to be traveling along the highway near Chillicothe, Missouri, and she came upon this scene where a farmer was burning his field. And she stopped to take a picture, and she got this amazing image of a fire tornado. And what's fascinating to me, first of all, is that Chillicothe, Missouri, is very close to the heartland of America. It's only a few hundred miles from the geographical center of the United States, which is considered Lebanon, Kansas. In fact, it's 444 kilometers from Lebanon, Kansas. And this image has gone viral on the internet. It's all over. And it was featured on Good Morning America. And to me, this burning of fire indicates the burning of America as prophesied in the book of Revelation. Because America is primarily the whore of Babylon. And we will be burned with fire in one hour. But who does the burning? Who does that fire tornado symbolize? Take a close look at that. What does that look like to you? Doesn't that look like a sickle? Of course it does. That fire tornado symbolizes Russia. It symbolizes the Scarlet Beast. The Scarlet Beast will burn America with fire in one hour. And that's the significance 
of this fire tornado image which has gone around the world and which people I think deep down inside understand that this is perhaps God's final warning to the United States. And as always, if you are interested in more information about Bible prophecy, please visit my new thirdeaglemedia.com website where I have unsealed all the great prophecies of the Old Testament prophet Daniel.